Hi, how are you? In this video, I'm just going to be talking a little bit about mini CDRs. And I'm sure many of you who are into compact discs, especially blank compact discs, I'm sure many of you have seen or even used these mini CDRs. Now, I recently found these two blank CDRs. They're still sealed. As you can see, they're made by the SKC company. And again, I've used many of these over the years. I've purchased many, I've uh, burned many. Uh, as far as I know, these mini CDRs are no longer being manufactured, although I may be wrong about that. If any of you know for sure, please leave a comment. But from everything I've read and from everything that I understand, I don't believe they're manufacturing these mini CDRs anymore. I do recall mini CDRs being very, very popular in sort of the, the late 90s to sort of the early 2000s. And I actually used to see spindles of mini CDRs, sort of a, a 50 pack in a spindle. And again, they were quite popular and quite common back in those days. Now, people nowadays may be wondering, okay, well, why were they popular? Why would a mini CDR ever be preferable over a, a standard CDR? Well, it goes without saying that being smaller, there's of course less storage space. These mini CDRs only had a capacity of 200 megabytes or 23 minutes of recording time. Now again, if you're wondering why would these ever be beneficial over a regular CDR? Well, speaking for myself, I remember back in the day um, if musicians were collaborating or if you just wanted to send one or two tracks to another musician that maybe you were collaborating on, you would just send them on a CDR as opposed to a full length blank CD. So again, if I'm working on some songs with a friend who lives far away from me, again, this was pre MP3s, pre WAV files. Uh, at that time, you couldn't really send audio files th through email or through the internet. So you still had to do it the old fashioned way and record them onto a disc, stick them into an envelope and mail them. So again, rather than if I just wanted to send two or even three songs, rather than wasting an entire 80 minute blank CD or even a 74 minute blank CD, I would just use one of these mini CDRs to send along a couple of songs to a friend that I may be working with uh, who lives quite a ways away from me. Now, one of the things about these mini blank CDRs, and I suspect this may have been a reason why they kind of faded out and why they didn't remain uh, such a staple item. Uh, some people would actually try to play these in their car stereos. Now it goes without saying, if you want to burn or use one of these mini CDRs, you would use the inner tray. Uh, inside the CD tray, whether it be in a standalone CD recorder or in your computer CD burner, when the tray came out, there would be the regular groove for the regular standard blank CD. And then within that would be the smaller groove that could house the smaller blank mini CDR. And as long as you were using an apparatus that had that inner circle or that smaller insert in the middle of the tray, you could play or burn one of these blank mini CDs. These were never intended to be used in car stereo systems, but believe it or not, I have heard horror story after horror story over the years of people trying to stick these in their car stereo systems and it ended up being a total mess. They had to take their car into the dealership and they had to get the whole thing taken apart and had the mini CD taken out. You may be wondering why would someone be dumb enough to do something like that? Well, yeah, believe it or not, it still happened. So I, I, I've heard many stories about that happening over the years and I suspect that that's a reason why they were kind of phased out or at least one of the reasons anyway. So again, these two uh, are two SKC mini CDRs. You don't see them around nearly as much as they used to be. Uh, I found these two in a thrift store, secondhand, 
And if you ever do seem to find them in a secondhand store, pick them up. They're, they're a lot of fun. And certainly, if you're the type of person who likes to buy things secondhand and then turn around and sell them on the internet to make a profit, these are very much sought after on the secondhand market. So if you ever find any of these for a really decent price and you want to uh, make a bit of a profit, I'm sure you'd have no problem at all turning around and selling them on the internet and making much more for them than you actually spent on them. I'm not really into that much myself. I usually just buy these things as a curiosity, as a collector's item. But certainly if you do find them, and again, if you do have a burner with that mini uh, tray, that mini circle on the inside of the tray, you can certainly still use them and burn to them. But again, please do not try to play these in your car stereo system. You're just going to be asking for trouble. Now my question to you, is do you still use these mini CDRs? Did you use them back in the day? Why did you use them? Uh, was there a particular reason that you enjoyed using these mini CDRs? I'd love to hear your stories. Please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week. And if you're into vintage technology, CDs, cassettes, drum machines, synthesizers, reel-to-reel, -reel, laser discs, any of those things, please subscribe to the channel. This channel is for you. So again, if you are a big fan of mini CDRs, I'd love to hear from you. Where do you buy them or where can you buy them? If you have any tips or any suggestions for people who want to buy some, where they can find them, please let us know. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.